Right now at 10, an I-Team exclusive on the suitcase murders. A woman tells us she ran out of an apartment of Stephen Zelich screaming when he tried to handcuff her. Zelich is accused of stuffing two bodies in suitcases and dumping them in Walworth County. Tonight, the I-Team uncovered new police reports which shed light on the former officer's past. In 2001, a 22-year-old woman flagged down West Dallas police wearing only underwear. She told officers Zelich threw her to the floor and tried to choke her when she would not wear handcuffs during sex. In that same report, the woman told police she asked Zelich, are you going to kill me? Zelich replied, are you going to have sex with me? The I-team tracked down that woman tonight. She told her chilling story to our Germont Terry. Germont. Mike, she's horrified and relieved all at the same time. This woman tenses up when speaking about Steve Zellich, a man she met once, a man she will never forget, and a man she claims tried to kill her too. This woman, who doesn't want her identity revealed, tells the I-Team her heart dropped when she found out police arrested Steven Zelich for the suitcase murders. They should have investigated this more thoroughly than they did. Steve Zelich, the former West Dallas police officer, resigned in 2001. That's the same year these police reports obtained by the I-Team reveal Zelich was accused of attempted rape. The report reveals a woman wearing a black bra and panties flagged down officers on the street. The woman claimed she met Zelich at a bar and agreed to come to his apartment on National Avenue. And once there, Zelich tried to handcuff her, body slammed her, and attempted to choke her prior to having sex. Uh, I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. The 22-year-old woman told investigators, I thought he was going to kill me. I was thinking, today, you are going to die. The woman had a prostitution warrant, and Zelich claimed she stole cash. Police found the money on her and arrested the woman. Had they listened, this could have been prevented. Now, the I-Team has also learned that police searched Zelich's apartment many times as well, but we also want to point out that this woman claims that she was not at the apartment for prostitution. She claims that she came to Zelich's apartment for a private dance. This interview with this young lady was more than an hour long. We just concluded at around 9.40 tonight. We're going to have much more of this exclusive interview on our coming newscast, of course, on Live at Daybreak as well. We should point out that Zelich resigned in the middle of that internal investigation and West Allis police stopped the investigation and did not do any criminal charges or pass the case on to the DA's office. I reached out to the police chief in West Allis. He said that his administration, it was a different administration at that particular time in 2001, and he cannot Monday back quarterback about what was said and what was done back then. But he said if they do review the case, they will review this case for any lessons learned in the future. Back to you, Mike and Kim. All right, thank you, Jermon. Now, the I-Team also learned police searched Zelich's apartment three times back in January and once in February. They were looking for Laura Simonson. Zelich told investigators he knew Laura but had no contact with her for two months. He let the officer inside. The report said nothing would indicate Laura had been staying at that residence. The foster parents of Zelich's other victim are devastated by her death. Jenny Gomez lived with a family in the state of Oregon. Her foster father says Gomez was a caring teenager who got mixed up in the wrong crowd. You don't have to give birth to them for them to be your kids. So um, with that, with the tragedy happening with Jenny is just a horrible thing. And it, and it has affected our family. And it will, you know, even, even today. Zelich told police he killed Gomez in Kenosha County, and authorities there are now building a case against him. 